Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to log tags in Simmons Species 7 and how to generate trends from those tags. So the trend, as you may have seen, appear on the runtime screen like this. This is a simple demonstration. So I will show you how to make this possible right from the beginning, right? So first of all, I will go to my PLC program in the PLC program, I'll go to the OB1, my main organization block. I will try to create some analog data in the logic. And later on, I'm going to log those analog data into the PCS7 tag logging section. After having done that, we are going to create trends in runtime like this. So bear with me over here i will insert a new network and for demonstration purpose i will use a scale block fc105 well let me delete this one Okay, now for uh, example, I will be writing a memory word instead of a physical input word for analog input channels. I'm not using uh, I'm not using that, but you can. So I'm just using a memory word, for example, memory word 20. The high limit of the raw value uh, that would be scaled would be between 200 and 0 so 0 to 200 the the this the hexadecimal value that i'm going to insert into the uh, simulator in the hexadecimal format that would be scaled between 0 and 200 and since there is no bipolarity i'm just going to write m1.0 that is low and the value that would be returned would be temporarily stored in MW30. Uh, let me write a, a separate DB for that so that you guys can get it more clearly. I will insert a new data block, DB1, shared data block. Okay. In the data block section, well temp word or let me call it a pressure value and i will give the address as uh, sorry there's no need to give any address over here since it is db and pressure value real value so i'm going to save it db1 dot db w0 that is the pressure word and db1 dot tbd2 that is the real value the real value that i wrote over here db sorry i have to change it to two and four
the real world word value lies in dbg4 i will save it and i will download the logic to my plc okay now i'm going to insert the tags into my tag management section first db1.dbd4 well this value has to be logged let me well select this one for logging right and i assume that the pressure value is stored the the real value the pressure is stored that will be scaled between 0 and 200 in the dbd4 right so for demonstration purpose you can see that for example i write hex value like 45 a b into mw20 the mw20 is going to scale it between 0 and 200 and store the result that is 129 0.015 in dbd4 in this case so i'm going to log this value into the pcsm scada first i'm going to insert the value into the tag management section i will open it and under the new con uh, connection i'll get the name as pressure or for example pump pressure and uh, the data type is floating point 32 bits since it's a real value connection is new connection one that is over here and the address is db number is one and dd4 so the value has been inserted in the tag management section successfully next step is go to the tag login section and over here under the process value archive insert the process tag that is the pump pressure we recently inserted into the tag management section Well, and that's it. The value has been successfully started to log the value. So now I'll cancel it. I'll go to the runtime. In the runtime, I will click on the trend system. I will make a new trend, pump pressure, create it. I will give it the name pressure and under the take section well I will select pump pressure this trend will now fetch the logged value of the pump pressure under the toolbar I have to add some tools well it's okay and under the value axis i have to change from automatic to manual that is the 0 to 200 is the scale of the pump pressure so i have deliberately or manually changed it rather than automatically apply okay well now it's in runtime and the trend is being displayed well the duration of this trend i can change it toolbar go to the toolbar select time range from the time range i can change the time duration i will change it to five minutes for example and if you pick the ruler well 
you can look for the value at any time there is 129 i will change it from the simulator for example i change it to 378f that corresponds to the value 102 and let me check it in the trend well it has dropped down to uh, 103 right if i again change it to uh, a higher value from the simulator for example uh, 7 a b 4 that corresponds to 200 right and in the trend i can see that the value has risen to 200 let me change it to another value 6 0 0 0 that's the hexadecimal representation and in the logic i can see it is 177 and in the trend again i can see it is 178 that has been well rounded off by the pcs7 so this is how we make trends for example let me change it to three minutes so this is how we log tags in the same species 7 and this is how we create or generate trends so i think i made it very simple and uh, you can do this uh, procedure for any number of tags right uh, as far as your license is uh, allowing or approving and this is how you generate and create trends so the process is pretty simple if you have if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment section and uh, see you in the next video bye for now